Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. First question that came up is about reaching. And this is something that's really core to the way that I teach tea, the way I interpret Taiji Chuan. And uh, the idea is that Taiji is always, there's always a quality of reaching, of extending in the, in the movements. And that is that you're opening and you're using your intention to make, have the body go in the direction that you want it to go. So this is a very different quality than say, just allowing the motion to happen. It's, there's a, a direct intention there. Say if I want to, to extend my, my arm in a, with a, like a ward off posture, there is a reaching. I'm not, arm is not just going into, into, into a place and just hanging there. There is an extension. And what happens with the extension is that the mind, the E, extends to the extremities. And when you do that, it, it on, a, on a physical level, it creates tensegrity in the connective tissue system. So there's an a, elongation of your tendons, ligaments, fascia, et cetera, that compose your, your connective tissue system, which allows, it's the support network for the energy flow and the energy, the state of energy, the energetic coherence. So the, on the physical level, you're, you're activating your connective tissue system, which, you know, it's, it's sometimes called the living matrix because it connects every cell in your body. And so there's this instantaneous communication throughout the whole system. There's a very dynamic feedback mechanism where every part is able to coordinate with every other part virtually at the speed of light. It's just, there's, there's this immediate response throughout the whole system. So it's for human, in human terms, it's instantaneous. So whenever you activate that, that tensegrity, click, you have access to a much higher level of energetic fullness and energetic coherence. So that quality of reaching is an idea that you're, you're opening and extending. So there's this quality of extension. But even when you are in a yin posture, let's say a rollback where you're, you're bringing down, there is still a quality of reaching. You're reaching with the elbows, reaching with the wrists, reaching with the fingers, and directing the energy in and down, mm, but there's still a quality of reaching. If you don't, if you try to do that without reaching, you got nothing. There's there's no there's no uh, stuff in that in that rollback. So the best you can do is get out of the way. That's that's the that type of passivity is the only thing you you know. Only positive on that is, oh, I disappear. But if you want a dynamic rollback where you're able to direct energy and, and move it in, a, in a, a direction inward, there is still a quality of reaching there. And so any moment in a Tai Chi form, there is, there is something reaching and if you are not reaching with the crown of your head, you're not opening the jade pillow gate, you're not accessing the spirit of vitality, the jingchen in the, uh, in the system. If you're not reaching with the elbows, the shoulders are going to tend to cramp up. They're gonna to tend to, to bunch up or get tense. So if you're not reaching with the fingers, the energy is not gonna reach you the the, uh, the ends of your, your hands. And so somewhere along the line, there's gonna be a, a break in the energy and any break kinks the hose. So what we're doing with the, each of these reachings is training the mind to 
open to extend because there's a, a natural tendency for any system to kind of collapse in on itself. It's a, you know, the, the quality of entropy enters in. It was just like there's a, if there's not sufficient energy to expand from a state of wholeness, then there is a tendency to contract. So the, um, we, if we take charge of that and say, okay, we are going to continue to access the big chi and allow that to move through and that allow that to animate, then we are continually building new structures. There's, we're opening to new possibilities in terms of our, our, our living, our movement, and our Kung Fu. So that's, uh, that's the, uh, I think the nickel version uh, of reaching. So it's a, a quality, and you'll hear me say it, you know, a thousand times, but it's, you know, reach with this, reach with your wrist, reach with your elbows, reach with your crown, whatever, because you want to, if you don't, there's a tendency to just kind of fall into a collapse. So uh, uh, any questions on that or any thoughts on that? Anybody? Richard. Richard. Yeah. It, uh, it seems as though um, we need to distinguish between reaching and moving. Uh, yeah, because I, I can see as you're talking, it starts to become clear to me that uh, that reaching is not moving, uh, is not necessarily moving, that no matter which direction you move, you need to be reaching. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Now, that, that's a very good point, Richard, because one can think, one can confuse the two. So, you know, we learn to reach by physically extending an arm, extending a hand, you know, whatever we, we learn to do this, we get the concept of, okay, here it is collapsed, here it is extending. So we're reaching where there is a, there is an intent behind it. And, and a quality of reaching and uh, going a little bit deeper into the nuances, you know, it's different than pushing. So in other words, reaching is extending to connect. You want to reach the shore, you want to reach, you know, your, your beloved, whatever you want. There is a, there's a, a quality of desire and attainment there. Uh, there's a quality of love involved with, uh, um, with it. You know, Jonathan loves to, to, to talk about, it's a quality of hugging. There, there's a, the, the idea of extending your, extending out and opening for for, for that hug, you're, you're seeking a, a partner in, in, in that event. And that's very much what reaching is involved. So there's an intent there, which is the insubstantial aspect to the movement. That is you, like right now I can reach with my ears. You know, it just, you know, I'm not moving them, but there is an intent there to like, to you, you feel them extending outward. You can reach with anything you want, and it's a quality of, of placing that intention, and even if you're not activating the motor function that makes the car go, you are still, uh, you still have it all geared up and, and, and ready to go. So, uh, uh, Peter, you had something. You're on mute, Peter. Yeah, Richard asked my question. I was thinking about, you know, when we're doing that standing, uh, that standing um, posture with the um, the jade pillow, the toes, the reaching with the rear, the back of the top of the head. Uh, there seems to be very, very little movement, if any. So that was really my question. If you know, if you need to move to reach. Um, Same question. Yeah. So it, uh, no, you don't. So that it's it's, a, it's it's the underlying intention, which activates the energy. It it's you know the readiness potential that precedes the actual delivery of of motor function. So we and, and that's something that uh, we have there. So we have a, a question from Art: Is that reaching the same as pong? And no, no, reaching pong is a specific 
uh, Jin, which is generally considered to be an up and out kind of energy. It's, it's a, a yang expansion contrasted to Lu, which is an in and down kind of, kind of energy. And that's just a general uh, description because in terms of direction, because it can be in any direction, but the uh, Pong Jin is, is an expansion. It's a yang expansion. And, uh, uh, but it's one of, of, of many Jin's and all of them involve reaching. And uh, so it, to activate your Pong Jin, you do need to reach, but uh, it's, they're not the same. 